This question may be a bit confusing because it asks how many small offices would be included in the sample. By this, it means how many small offices of the total sample of all offices would be included in the sample, as opposed to meaning what should be the sample size of the small offices when we're just looking at the small offices category. So it's important to understand the difference between these two things. So we need to find out what the strata size should be for the small category if we choose a new area with an overall population of 110. Because we're using an optimal allocation plan, we need to use the following formula, shown here, where n sub j is the new sample size of the jth category, the one we're trying to find, capital N is the old population size, and sigma is the old standard deviation. So it says the new sample size, n sub j, should be the population size, the old population size of the jth category times the standard deviation of the jth category divided by, and then we see it's the sum of the products of all of the other categories in the old sample, just their size times their standard deviation. You do that for each category and then you add them up. And that whole fraction needs to be multiplied by little n, which is the new size of your overall population, the size of all the categories. Basically, optimal allocation takes into account variation as well as the relative sizes of the different categories. So all we need to do now is plug in our data. The question tells us that the, sample, the size of the new overall sample of all categories is 110. The population size for the old large category was 414, and the standard deviation for the large category was 0.401. The population size for the old medium category was 743, and its standard deviation was 0.533. Finally, the population size for the old small category was 743, and its standard deviation was 0.545. So again, here is the formula to find the new sample size based on the optimal allocation method and we just plug in the data. But first, let's expand this sum on the bottom to see where all of our numbers go. So we're calculating, the formula says n sub j equals. So that's, you're looking for the new sample size in the j strata. So j is like our target, basically. And since we're trying to find the small category size, we're gonna switch out s with j. So this new formula tells us the size of the small category, n sub s, equals, and so we know in the numerator, since this is our target, the small category, we put big NS, the size of the old population of the small category, times the old standard deviation of the small category. Only the small numbers go in the numerator. And then in the denominator, it's just the sum of the products of the size of the population with the standard deviation of all the old categories. And so we see here it's first large, and then medium, and then small. And so we multiply those together, add them up, and then we multiply by little n, which again is the new size of the overall population of all of the categories. So now we just need to plug in our numbers. We see 743 and 0.545 go up top because again, those are for the small category. And all of them go in the bottom. We just multiply the population size times the standard deviation and add them together and multiply by 110, which is the new size of the overall population. And we find that the number of data that we should have in the new sample size just for the small category, the size of the small strata in this new population of 110 observations total should be 46.06.